Oftentimes when we think about performance brake upgrades, our minds go straight to bigger calipers. Big brake kits are hugely popular because of this. But upgrading your caliper is a pretty extreme step, and it really isn't necessary until you've exhausted all your other options. Take my EVO 9 MR for example. It's a 2006 EVO 9 MR, and as far as braking is concerned, it's pretty bare bones. I've just got the stock Brembo brake calipers that came with it from the factory, uh, generic blank rotors, and some economy brake pads that are just low dust and quiet. So as far as braking performance is concerned, I'm leaving a lot on the table, but I don't need a big brake kit in order to stop a lot faster, and I'm gonna show you guys that. So first, we're gonna take this thing out and we're gonna do a little bit of a braking test to see how quickly we can slow down from 70 to zero. And then we're gonna compare it with some upgraded components. We did 10 stops from 70 miles an hour to zero as quickly as we could and then averaged the distances to get our average braking distance. The Evo was able to haul down to zero in 157 feet on average. Not bad, but we can do better. So as you guys may know, we partner with Advance Auto on certain video topics, and they actually sell some performance items, which I didn't know about. They vend both DBA rotors and Hawk brake pads. So they sent some of those over that we're gonna put onto the Evo and see if we can do anything to improve the Evo's braking performance. So let's find out. The two braking components we'll be focusing on in this video will be rotors and pads. Other modifications like stainless steel lines, high temperature brake fluid, and of course, tires, can and will help you brake faster and more consistently, but we'll save that for another video. Okay, so this is what I'm working with right now. As far as the brake rotor, this is uh, just a blank, uh, generic brake rotor that I picked up from a local parts store. And then this oh, is the new rotor uh, from DBA that is a two-piece, and uh, this is what's going on. As you can see, these two-piece rotors differ from the single-piece generic rotors on the car pretty significantly. For starters, as a two-piece rotor, the top hat is reusable. Once the rotor rings have worn away, you simply remove it from the top hat and replace it. Okay, so we just saw that I weigh 190 pounds, uh, which means that I A, need to work out more, um, and also that's our baseline weight. So now I'm gonna hold these rotors and we're gonna test and see how much my weight fluctuates based on which rotor I'm holding. Okay, so that's 21 pounds. This, this is 21 pounds, which, I, yeah, I guess it is. That's crazy. Okay, so it's two pounds lighter, I think. Uh, so two pounds times, the, at least for the fronts, the fronts are two pounds lighter, so that's four pounds in the front, and then however much difference the rears are. But the rears aren't two-piece, so probably not that much of a weight savings. A two pound weight reduction may not seem that significant, but when you consider the effect it will have on both rotating mass and unsprung weight, two pounds is huge. But aside from the reduction in cost and weight, this DBA rotor also helps you slow down faster and more consistently. The slotted rotors allow gas, produced by the brake pad, to vent out more quickly and efficiently, which reduces brake fade. Okay, so this is the uh, pad that just came out of the front Brembo. It is ceramic, low dust, low noise, also low heat and low torque. So this isn't going to be good for autocross track days. It's not even going to be good for spirited driving, but uh, it's cheap, right? This is the new Hawk HP Plus pad that I'm going to be replacing it with. So you can see, you can just see that the, the pads are made up of different compounds. This is made up of a ferrocarbon compound. It's semi-metallic, much better at high temperature, high torque stopping. Um, as far as Competition pads go, this is not a high torque pad. This is more for autocross or spirited driving, not really good for uh, legit track days where you're coming down from 150 miles an hour to 30 miles an hour repeatedly. This is not the pad for that. You wanna go with something more extreme. But for my purposes, which is just gonna be kinda, you know, goofing around, autocross, maybe some very light track days, this should be okay. After bedding in the Hawk HP Plus pads, the DBA 5000 T3 rotors, we went back to our little brake testing course to see what was what. stop after stop all day 
first on the stock hardware and then on the upgraded DBA rotors and Hawk pads. And we come to some conclusions. So our test has been to decelerate from 70 miles an hour down to zero as quickly as we can. On the stock brakes, we were able to do that in 156 and a half feet. That's not bad at all. But on the upgraded DBA rotors and Hawk pads, we were able to do it in a much shorter 137 and a half feet. That's almost a 19 foot improvement. That's huge. So it has to be mentioned that it's not all upsides. There are a lot of trade-offs that are gonna be made in the name of performance. You're gonna be spending a lot more money on performance brake components than you would be on equivalent standard uh, economy setups like what I was running before. You're also going to be getting a lot more dust and a lot more noise than you were getting with pads that are engineered to be quiet or low dust like what I had before on the car. Ultimately though, pads and rotors are simple mods that you can do that have a huge effect on your braking ability without costing an arm and a leg like a big brake setup. And this isn't just the case for cars with Brembos like the Evo. Cars with even the most basic disc brake setups can see huge improvements with just a more aggressive pad and rotor. So if you're looking for more stopping power, pads and rotors might just be worth your time. Thanks again to Advance Auto for sending out all the parts used in this comparison. I was stoked to see that they have performance parts in their inventory from Hawk, DBA, and even more manufacturers. Anyways, thanks again for watching guys, and have a great day.